Greetings. Well, the dull days on the big island have finally come to an end. Yes, Mauna Loa finally erupted. She's at it. I've been threatening now for quite a while, and it started at 11.30 last night. Um, I cannot see what's going on from here. Uh, perhaps if I go out to the highway, I might be able to spot something. I'll check that later. But uh, I guess it's visible pretty much from Kona. Uh, photographs over Kona. You can see the flow coming down the south side of the mountain. Um, it also started coming down the north side of the mountain recently, which, uh, whoa, uh, that's where it was heading back in 1984, the last time it erupted, uh, heading right towards Hilo. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Mauna Loa is the is the southwestern uh, corner of, of the Big Island, but and Hilo is the eastern port. Um, but it's such a big mountain, and the way things are shaped, that when it gets going, it can take Hilo out. Uh, it's not likely to take out uh, Puna. Okay, there's just this big gap in between the two great big mountains, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. And if Mauna Loa starts up, it falls off the backside and it'll start trickling down uh, through what they call the uh, Saddle Road area and down towards the Wailuku River. It can go that way and that's what it was doing. Uh, but we don't really know. Uh, for considerable time, I have been warning some friends from Washington who uh, view the channel uh, that they really don't want to position their home uh, at 3,000 feet up on the site of Mauna Loa. Well, it's... No one ever listens to me. <laughs> no. So I don't know how they're doing this morning. I mean, the law is not heading that way. But, you know, I think that since almost nobody ever dies here from these volcanic eruptions they they're just not that deadly we're not uh, uh, we're we're not one of the uh, volcanoes like in the ring of fire where there's subduction where one plate is going under the other and creates this enormous pressure that you get pyroclastic explosions and just uh, huge huge things happen um, this island's not like that. There's just this hole in the in the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, just a hole, and the lava bubbles up through it. Uh, there's not a lot of pressure behind it, so you know it's it's not particularly dangerous. Now it's dangerous to property. Yeah, man, if you're anywhere in the way, uh, it's also extremely dangerous to your mind and your well-being. Um, now, like I say, I live all the way over on the other side of the island. Uh, there, there is no eminent issues with lava, at least, from that volcano over here. That's almost impossible, but <laughs> never say never. Um, it's a big volcano, the biggest active one on the planet. <laughs> but, you know, here on this side of the island, our considerations are mostly quakes generated as this happens, uh, they can get pretty strong uh, and mess things up. Also, all of the other factors involved around eruptions, ash, you know, uh, uh, volcanic gas, vog, uh, generally speaking, the trade winds flow from east to west here. So most of what comes out of Mauna Loa goes that way. It doesn't come towards us. But we have what we call a Kona wind. It's a southwester, uh, and it's it's a rare wind. We don't see them too often, but we do see them a few times every year. Uh, and so when that turns, the fog from Mauna Loa can come right in here, too. Uh, that's a big mountain. Uh, I guess right now the biggest concern we have is that the fog on the western side of this island and the southern part of the island and then fog in the uh, uh, other islands like Oahu uh, can get really bad if this gets going good um, I guess right now it's it's filled up the vessel in the top of the mountain and it has started flowing over the sides in two directions it is not running towards Hawaiian Ocean View Estates at the moment uh, which is one of the places I'm always warning people about um, I got a couple of viewers that moved in there recently uh, despite my warnings about that's not a good place to live um, uh, they're all right for now but 
as I said, the, the major problem with this, it's the psychology, you know, the nerves it creates by having to live that close to something uh, when the, the air uh, is unbreathable sometimes. Those of you who do not like wearing masks, if you thought that was a violation of your rights, well, you don't want to come here on vacation because especially if you're on the west and the south side, you're going to be wearing a mask and it's not going to be for a virus. It's going to be for particles in the air. Um, it can get really bad. The last time uh, uh, Kilauea was active up here where it was uh, actually putting ash out on the road near Volcano uh, Town, I was up on the golf course uh, filming a current eruption. As the eruption happened, I was standing there. Uh, it's in one of the last uh, uh, <laughs> uh, lava and garden reports there uh, that I did several years back. But... Uh, uh, just from standing that close to it as it was going off, um, I actually damaged my lungs. It took me several days to recover from the burns I got from the sulfur. Yeah, I was choking. Choking. Generally speaking, the town of Volcano is a pretty safe place to be despite its proximity to the caldera. Uh, most of the eruptions don't seem to go that way. Most of the volcanic gas doesn't go that way. But uh, in that last one, it, it did. Yeah, there was ash all over. They had gravel flying out of the mountain and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't want it to have been in the town of Volcano during that. <sighs> so, it's happening. Uh, we don't know how long it will go on. Anybody's guess. Uh, major concerns right now. Um, uh, other than that one stream going down the south side, because there are some people that live off that way, um, there are a few small towns uh, on the southern flank, um, which I guess that would include Captain Cook, which is uh, kind of too bad. Nice town. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but right now, that's uh, that, and if it keeps going, Hilo, I guess, are the, are the, are the main issues. But... It can change course, do whatever it wants to at any moment. Um, yeah, Paley, she's got a mind of her own, uh, which reminds me, too, that some of the other hazards that can come from this are uh, Paley's hair, the floating volcanic glass. If, if one of the streams uh, from the volcano hits the ocean, we'll get LAZ, uh, L -A -Z, which uh, contains hydrochloric acid and strands of uh, volcanic glass hair. Uh, extremely dangerous stuff. In a way, I'm a little sad because uh, this is not one that I can readily see. I would have to go to the highway to be able to get a look at this. Most of the Kilauea stuff, I get a chance to watch it from the house, but not this one. I have to reposition to see what's going on over there. Um, but it's kind of nice to have some excitement back here on the island again. <laughs> I'm sorry for anybody that gets in the way. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to be in the way of this. But you know, it is kind of exciting. It's also good news because when the volcanoes are doing nothing, is when at least I worry the most. When they're busy, well, we pretty much know what they're up to. Uh, and the way this is, you probably have uh, days warning, uh, you know, if things start to go, you're going to know. Uh, although, if it hits the right flank, uh, like going down the, uh, the, the southwestern slope of the volcano, pretty steep. Like, uh, this is li very liquid lava. It'll be build up some speed, and it can really get rolling. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, waiting long enough that you got to try to outrun it with a microbus. <laughs> I wouldn't wouldn't want to try that one. Uh, Volkswagens are notoriously slow vehicles. <laughs> ah, there you have it. We're back to uh, garden and lava shows again. I got a lot of gardening to do over here. Uh, I called Kevin off. Who was going to come over and help me with it today because uh, I guess it's raining down on the Puna coastline where he's at. It's not raining up here, but it certainly looks like it could. And so, what's the point? I guess I'll go out and putter around with it myself and see what I can get done here. Uh, I'm trying to get ready to plant onions and leeks. Yep. 
All right, folks. Y'all hang loose there. And uh, stay organized. <laughs> Make sure you know where the dog or the cat are at. You know. <laughs> yeah, pack some spam in the truck. Oh, and as for my two friends who recently moved up the mountain over there, if things get really crazy, I'll be glad to give you a place here for a couple of days till you figure out what you're doing. Okay. Aloha.